Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about animals passing away. So I know that a lot of you have noticed probably the past six months or so, animals have been crossing over at an alarming rate, sometimes unexpectedly. It's like your animal is just doing okay and then before you know it, they're sick. Um, and it's it's traumatic. It's it's really hard to deal with that. Um, I lost my, my fur baby too a few months ago. That was... I had that cat. I took in a pregnant stray cat when I was 18 and I'm 30 now and he was one of her babies. You know, that that was my son. That was, was my entire world. Um, I would wake up every morning to him kissing me and pawing at my face. He was just, he's never bit me, never scratched me his entire life. He was the best cat in the whole world. Um, you know, I raised him well too, which is a big part of it. You know, animals are, they're very intuitive. They're they are like children. It really depends. Their personalities depend a lot on how they're raised. If they have to survive in harsh environments, you know, that's why strays are more hostile. It's like they've had to harden their little kitty hearts, you know. They, they have a harder time trusting, but they're still worth it. It just takes more effort. But but yeah, my, my kitty, that was my son. Um, he passed a few months away a few months ago. And um, I was just drawn to talk about it because I feel like there's, I feel like there's a few of you that need to hear this message. Maybe a couple, maybe some of you recently lost an animal as well, or maybe you're just noticing collectively a lot of animals are passing away at an alarming rate. Maybe you're wondering what's going on with that. So I'm going to talk, I'm going to channel and just talk a little bit about that. And then I'm going to pull some cards to see if your fur babies have any messages for you or anything that they just want to say. Um... I do have a messages from the other side deck that I'm working on. I haven't finished it yet though. So today I'm just going to be using the deck that I made and then um, another deck that I did not make. But this is available on Amazon. It's called the Tarot de la Newt. So um, anyway, uh, not, I'm, I'm never going to talk about politics on my channel. Like that's just not something I'm going to do. But I think it is necessary just to, to kind of vaguely talk about that a little bit. You know, I definitely lean, I'm in the United States and I definitely lean towards the left side. Um, and I'm just going to say, you know, the past couple months I've, I've felt my anxiety has been through the roof, especially the past couple weeks. My anxiety is just, I've been having anxiety attacks every day. I've, I've asked my guides, I'm like, you know what, if chaos is coming, I do not want to feel it. Just let me breathe. And it's like the anxiety attacks. It's like the energy is just, and there's a point to this. I'm, I'm getting to the point here with this. Um, you know, the energy is just, it's chaotic lately. Like the past couple of weeks, it's just been one anxiety attack after the other. And then, you know, if you're in the United States, you saw what happened a couple of days ago with, you know, the Capitol being stormed. That, that was just nuts. That was too much. Um, and, you know, even though I, I lean towards the left side, definitely 100%, but regardless of what, whether you're liberal, conservative, progressive, whatever your, your political beliefs are. And like I said, I'm not going to get into politics on this channel. I'm, I'm mostly focusing on love readings and on other things, um, especially because I want to do right by YouTube. I want to, um, you know, stick to the community standards and that sort of thing. But, but regardless of what your political beliefs are, what your beliefs are about the virus, whatever else, I think all of us collectively can agree that things have been chaotic. Like no matter what side you're on, you can see how how chaotic things are and I would love to say that 2021 is is going to get better but you know what this is we've ignored climate scientists for uh so many years we've we've just ignored the experts for so long and so I honestly I I hate to be you know I hate to be the preparer of doom here but I I don't I I've been feeling chaotic energy in 2021 I really have um, and like I said, there's a point to this that I'm getting to with the animals. There, there really is a point to this. But, um, but yeah, regardless of what side you're on, I think we can all admit things have been bad in 2020. Things have been chaotic. Um, you know, we've got global warming. We've got the virus. We've got, you know, politics. We've got, um, you know, economic crisis, financial instability, people losing their houses, just people reaching that breaking point. And... The thing is that that energy is just, and like I said, 2020, or sorry, 2021 is just, I, 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 I just, I personally don't feel like that energy is over. 
I, I felt I felt that the past couple of months, I'm like, we're not out of the woods yet for the United States. We're not we're not quite out of the woods yet. I've still been feeling that panicking, like there's gonna be there's gonna be violence, there's gonna be chaos, there's gonna be some major events that take place this year. Um, that are just, I, I feel a dark energy and I hate to say that, you know, but I also want to tell people so that they can kind of protect themselves, kind of be aware of this too, if, if you're not already aware of it. And, you know, I could be wrong. Psychics aren't right 100% of the time. I, I could be wrong, but seeing what happened a couple days ago at the Capitol, it's like, eh, that's the kind of energy I've been feeling lately. And I, I don't think it's over. I, 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 I think there's more coming, unfortunately, but Anyway, like I said, I don't want to get into politics here, you know, especially since I want to do right by YouTube. Um, you know, I'm not going to promote politics or this way or the other. And I, I, if I see any political comments, I'll probably just delete them, to be honest. I'm not going to even get into it. Um, but the point of, of, you know, this is like a rare instance where, I will, where I'm talking about politics. I, I probably won't ever again, to be honest. But I had to talk about it here Um you know, along with, with the virus and all the other chaos just going on around, you know, not just the United States, but the world, it's, 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 the energy is too heavy for the animals right now. This is, this is why I believe so many animals are crossing over. See, like I, I'm a pretty strong psychic and I can't handle this energy. I have, like I said, I've, the past couple weeks I've been having anxiety attacks, like to the point, maybe a week and a half ago, I wasn't even, I was barely getting out of bed. Cause I was like, I just can't do it. It was like the energy around me like that darkness, that chaos, it's just, it was too much. Like I was feeling just the collective anger on both sides. Uh, the, the, just the, just that chaotic kind of energy. And my anxiety has just been through the roof. So, so imagine how animals feel. I mean, animals are just so pure. They're so loving. They're so innocent. They're like children. Now, I mean, imagine you, it's like you've, most adults have been through a lot. Like you've been through your traumas and heartbreaks. So you've kind of learned to have defense mechanisms. You've learned to be strong. You've learned not to give your everything. But animals are so vulnerable to everything and everyone around them. They're so pure. You know, it's kind of like children. Like when children are, um, children could be lashing out right now too. You might have kids that are acting out and you don't know why they're so angry or why they're so upset. And there's, I'm not saying it, it's definitely this, but it, there's a chance that part of it could be this, this collective energy, especially as empaths, like people need to shield and ground right now. But you know, it's hard to shield when that energy is just all over the place. When it's on the news, when it's just everywhere you go, there's that energy. It's, it's hard to really protect yourself fully from that right now. It's just, there's just too much chaos. You know, as humans, it's like mentally, we can only handle so much. We can only, you know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, it's like, it's like children. They're very intuitive. They're very open. They're very loving. They're very creative. They haven't learned to hate people yet. They haven't learned to, you know, uh, to have this, this racial divide or political divide or whatever else. They're just, they're open. They're vulnerable to everything. They're vulnerable to the spirit activity around them. And there's a lot going on in the astral realm. There is, there's so much going on astrally right now. Um, like just like a battle there is a spiritual battle going on in the astral realm that kind of correlates with this battle we're facing here you know um a lot of us came to earth during this time to assist with this battle i believe and it's it's hard it's hard it's kind of like we're on a mission here you know many of us aren't from here we're just we're here to help these people if that makes sense i know that probably sounds cocky i don't mean it to be cocky i just mean that there's there's a lot of us are kind of here to to try to assist people out of these energies and, and through all this chaos, you know? Uh, but, but anyway, and you know, like, like animal, like children, animals are just, they're so pure. They're so loving. So they're so vulnerable to all this chaotic energy. It's like, they're so much more vulnerable to, to it than we are. And they just, their bodies can't handle it. You know, if you have energetic, um, I mean, it, I, I believe that like, you know, energetic issues like this can actually cause manifest as physical diseases. I believe personally, um, at a certain point that, that those can manifest as diseases at some point. But, you know, like I said, their bodies, they're just so pure. They're so vulnerable. And it's like all the darkness, all the chaos around 
it's just it's too much for them you might have noticed like animals kind of being like depressed these days kind of like more more um jittery like running around the house like just their energy is off like they because animals all animals are empaths snakes reptiles bunnies cats dogs they're all empaths they are all in that naturally empathic state where they're just you know vulnerable and emotional um so so yeah it's too heavy for them it's it's too it's like it's depressing it's it's dark for them it's it's they don't even know what to make of it either they don't animals probably don't know why they're feeling this way for the most part you know um and like i said that can manifest as disease that can manifest in just them their souls just making that decision like hey it's time to go um and that's that's what happened with my cat you know i was i'm still devastated that's that's my baby but I saw that peace that he felt at the end of it, the past couple hours of his life. He was just sitting in his little perch, listening to the birds. He was, he was just like so at peace. Like he was so ready to go. He was ready to be out of here. He was so, you know, this world is hard for them. This world is, no matter how much your animal loves you, this world is is it's it's a rough place for them it really is it's this this world is very cruel to animals it really is um so i just want to put that out there that it's it's not the universe trying to screw you over it's not this or that it's and, and i'm sure like i said i'm sure the reasons are different for everybody but for for the majority of animals that i've seen that have been crossing over lately it's just the energy is too dark and too heavy and um I mean, for one thing, their bodies can't handle it. Their minds can't handle it. It's, it's, it's too, it's just too much for them. It's just too, too, um, that it's like a dark, dense energy. That's just, it's too much for them to handle. Um, secondly, I also think that they're being spared because I, I, like I said, I hate to say it, but I, and like I said, I'm not going to get into politics here, but just in general with everything going on in the world, not just political, but just with vir the virus and everything else, um, I, I don't honestly feel like 2021 is going to be a super calm year. I think we're going to have our moments. I think this will be a year that we step into our power. I think we're going to have abundance and blessings and love come in this year. I think we're going to have a lot of amazing things happen this year. But I think this is going to be an intense year is what I should say. It's going to be intense in both good ways and bad ways. Like you guys are going to have some life-changing energy coming in this year, like meeting your soulmate, meeting your twin flame, moving to a new location, starting, you know, your psychic work or your career path, starting, you know, dreams manifesting, but there's going to be a lot of chaos in the atmosphere as well. It's like, it's like both sides um, are just very powerful and very intense right now. So I don't want to say it's all doom and gloom. Like there is a lot of good stuff coming for you guys as well, but but I still, I still feel that chaotic energy, you know, I'm judging and I'm judging based on the anxiety attacks because I usually don't have anxiety like this and it's just, I'm still feeling it. So I, you know, and like I said, I could totally be wrong, but, but, you know, I think that the animals are basically being spared from this chaos that we're dealing with down here. You know, they're, they're going up to a better place where they're, I believe that when animals um, when they cross over, I feel like they, they have guides that, that help them cross over. I also believe that they go to a place where they're healed. Like they go into this little area where they, their guides, um, and their soul group, like animals have soul groups too, you know, like my, it's crazy as it sounds. I have no doubt that my cat was my son in my past lives. Like I still feel that I think in other lives he's been my son. Um, and I, I feel like they go to this area where they're, they're healed they do um, soul retrieval because, you know, animals can lose little pieces of their soul here, too. And a lot of an animals are so empathic that when we feel depressed or anxious, they take on that energy for us and transmute it. Like I used to feel my cat doing that for me all the time. I would feel depressed and I would notice I would start feeling better and he would start feeling depressed. And I knew what he was doing. And I was like, no, I'm sh no, baby. This is this is mommy's energy. You're not picking up my energy. You're not taking on all my energy for for me but you know they're just they're so pure they're so amazing that they just want to do that for us and sometimes you have to stop them from doing that and be like you know what no this is this is my chaos to deal with 
And you got to shield your animals too, you know, like you ground and shield yourself. You need to do this. You need to bubble your animals too. You need to sage your space. You need to make sure you have a good environment for your animals to be in, you know, nurture them, love them, pet them, be gentle with them. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's just too much chaos lately. Sorry, sometimes when I channel, I start rambling. But what I was, what I was getting at also is, okay, so they, they go to, like, when they, when they die, I believe that they go to another place where they, they are healed, they do soul retrieval, and then that process can take a while. That process could even take a few months. Um, and I think after that, they, they're reunited with their soul group in whatever realm they're from. They're, you know, and so it's like, as much as it hurts me, I'm like, I'm just so happy that my baby is safe, that he's protected, that he's not having to feel this anxiety and this chaos that's going on in the world. You know, he's like, he's in a better place. And so that means a lot to me. So just keep that in mind that, you know, animals are being spared they, they can't handle these collective energies, number one, and then two, they're just being spared from these energies, too, where it's just kind of time for them to go. It's, it's you know, this is our battle. They're, they're too innocent and pure. They don't deserve this. They, they, they've done all they can, you know, and I'm not saying every animal is going to pass away. I'm just saying that, you know, a lot of them that are just, it's that time. It's, it's just that time for them to go. It's that time for them to heal, to be in a better place, to be protected and not have to deal with this chaos with us so so keep that in mind that you know as much as it as painful as it is like I mean I still cry all the time for my baby I still miss him more than anything but it's just like gives me so much peace knowing that his soul is healed knowing that he's got you know my gods and goddesses and my angels around him and our soul group is around him and he's you know, I've had multiple people have tell me that they've had multiple psychics that I know tell, um, message me and say that they have dreams of him, you know, playing in a little field with dragonflies. And he's just like happy. He's with other cats. He's he's just he's doing his thing. And I'm like, OK, that's that gives me a lot of peace, you know, like just knowing that. Um, so keep that in mind, you know, your babies and your babies will go to heaven, you know, no matter they, they go to heaven. All animals go to heaven. Animals are pure there. Or, or whatever, not, I don't know if you'd call it heaven, like the higher realms, whatever realm you're from, the, they're, they're in a good place is what I'm saying. But what is your, is there anything your baby wants to tell you? I don't know if I'm going to get anything from these cards, to be honest. I might just get some gibberish here because I think I was just supposed to channel, but we'll see what the cards say. It's hard to do like an animal reading with these cards because these are more like a love deck, but I want to see if I could get anything. Waiting, hoping, patient, wait, pay, uh, praying, passion, red flags, reconciliation, truth and clarity, open, honest communication, message, fear of commitment. Yeah, I'm honestly not getting anything from these cards, and I kind of expected that. I think I was just supposed to talk, because I'm like, these are love cards. That's not going to make any sense. That's not going to make any sense. <laughs> but, um... I could try it again. Hold on. What does your baby want to tell you? You know what? I'll just, maybe I'll get a couple cards to focus on, but I'm going to try to channel primarily, I think. Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Okay. I think just that they love you. You know, they love you. They know that you... You did all you could for them. You know, just keep reminding yourself that they are happy, that they are safe where they're at. Um, that just was, you know, something that just kind of had to happen. I feel like somebody is, one of you is missing a dog. I wonder how I could get some messages for you for your dog. Um... I think they want you, the dog wants you, and this is for someone specific, this isn't going to resonate for all of you, I think the dog wants you to know, I see you playing fetch with him, like there was like a ball or something that he really loved, he or she really loved, um, I think they want you to know that you'll see them again, I think that you had this sense of like ending when they passed away, like, 
you know, this is an animal, like maybe, maybe kind of on the fence about reincarnation or you just aren't sure about it. But um, they want you to know that they will come back to you, that they will see you again. They might, sometimes they come in the form of another pet. Sometimes, you know, later down the road, they come back. Um, I don't feel like that's going to happen anytime soon for the majority of them. Because like I said, they need to be up there where it's safe. They need to be protected from all this chaos down here. But like your, 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 do your dog wants you to know, I mean, all the animals want you to know, but there's one specific dog here that I'm channeling that just wants you to know, um, I think this is probably, is this a man that had a dog? Cause I see a man throwing a ball for the dog. So I'm thinking it's a man. Could be a woman. I don't know. But he just wants you to know that it's not over, that he is, you are going to see him again, whether it's this lifetime or the next, you have a very deep soul connection with this dog. So I think that this is kind of coming through because I think that you felt, I think it's like your perspective and your belief um, could be religious or whatever it is. You just kind of had that sense of like, okay, that's it. I'm not going to see this dog ever again. And your dog wants you to know that's actually not true. You guys will be reunited um, in all your lives. You know, this this is like your your um, like your familiar. So so they want you to know, and they they're still with you. They're still they still watch out for you. Um, they want you to be safe. They want you to. I feel like they want you to get out and meet people more too, or they want you to like have more of a community. Like they don't want you to feel alone. I feel like they're like, you were very reliant on them. Like that was your best friend and they're kind of worried about you because, um, now it's like, you're just kind of missing them. You're missing. It's like you connect with animals more than people. So it's like hard for you. Cause that was kind of your, your, um, I don't want to say crutch, but it was like you, you depended on the dog. That was your best friend. You know, it makes sense. But there's also a message about allowing healthy, good people into your life and not just allowing anybody into your life. But they do, they do want to see you find love. They do want to see you find the right people, you know, especially since they're not there to protect you anymore. They want to, they want you to make those good decisions. They want you to to try to find, I think you have a hard time relating to most people, but they want you to try to find your group. So this could be like an art group, could be something with like a specific, like metal detecting or some specific hobby that you have, you know, where you can maybe find like a group of like-minded people, you know, there's kind of like an emphasis on not just going anywhere to meet people, but like actually going and meeting people that are kind of like introverted, kind of like deep thinkers, like you are someone that you, you know, people you could actually connect to. Um, and yeah, your baby just wants you to know they're still looking out for you. They're still, they still come to visit you and that you will, despite how final things felt, they, they want to make sure that you know that they, they will be coming back. They will be, um, you know, you guys will physically be together again, whether it's this lifetime or the next. Um, yeah. Also that you were a good owner, that you, like, they were happy. If you ever doubted that they were happy or doubted, like, that you didn't give them enough attention, like, they want you to know that they, they, you know, you're their daddy or mommy. I think daddy. I think for most of you it's, I think, because I keep saying a guy, but I could be wrong. But they, they want you to know that they, they love you, that, you know, you were a very good pet parent. And that just to remember that they're they'll they'll be back. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this resonates. And if it does, please go ahead and subscribe to me. And like I said, please don't bother getting into politics with me. I'm trying to do right by YouTube. So if you comment anything political, I'm just gonna delete it. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching.